New this noon, history on track. The ride into Manhattan just got a bit easier for Long Island Railroad commuters. Governor Kathy Hochul among the first passengers on the train that pulled into Grand Central Madison as the East Side Access Service rolled out. The new service will have trains operate between Jamaica Station and the brand new Grand Central Madison Station in Midtown. It's a project that is billions of dollars and 15 years in the making. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller live at Grand Central Terminal with more. Derek? Sandra, good afternoon to you. And yes, we are inside this brand new terminal. This has been a long time coming. And in fact, Governor Kathy Hochul was here moments ago uh, wrapping up a press conference. Now, look over here. You see these uh, corridors. It looks a whole lot like the rest of Grand Central. So uh, that was certainly the point here. But uh, it certainly has a new terminal smell. Now, take a look at this video from moments ago. Uh, Governor Hochul was on the very first train, that Long Island Railroad train departed Jamaica at 1046. Arrived Arriving at Grand Central 21 minutes later on time at 11.07. However, this project was not on time. The governor noting the idea first came about in 1963. The first funding was secured in the 90s, and it's been under construction for 15 years. But it is now done, built 17 stories below ground. While the steep escalator takes about a minute and 38 seconds to get down, officials say this will be a huge time saver for many commuters who were having to travel to Penn only to double back to the east side either by subway or by foot. For now, the LIRR is operating this as an express shuttle between Grand Central and Jamaica. The governor telling me a full schedule with stops beyond Jamaica is coming in the next three to four weeks, and they have some big goals in this post-pandemic world. And for the businesses that are trying, struggling after the pandemic, trying to get workers back, they have one more reason to say, come on back. This project brings Long Island closer to the heart of New York City. Long Island and New York are getting closer thanks to this project. And that is great news for everybody who wants to see people come back to offices, back to theater, back to shopping, back to using the city the way they always did. And this is also the first time that Metro North and the LIRR will share a building. So with that in mind, MTA CEO Jano Lieber actually revealed today that they're going to have a discount for people who take the LIRR and then transfer to Metro North and vice versa.